Hi, I've gotten a lot of requests to do more videos on different types of CSS navigation. So we're going to go ahead today and do something completely different than what we've done before. You can see the sample navigation up here at the top. And in this case, instead of using text, we're actually using images to form the buttons. And this is actually a three state menu as opposed to the two state menus that we had done before. Before we had simply had the off state and the hover state. But now we actually have a current state page state, a third state. And obviously you can see the current page state right here. It's the dark colored button. The light grays are the off state buttons. And when I hover over them, you'll see we get this medium gray with the color in the circle that comes up. So there are actually three states to each one of these buttons. Now, in another video, I'm going to show you how to create these um, navigation buttons using fireworks in a very simple, straightforward way. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and just focus on how we set up the code for this. Now, for right now, just ignore the current page state. Just pretend like we're working with the two states that we've done um, projects with before, the off state and the hover state. There are two graphics, and these two graphics are going to get applied to every list item. The off state graphic is going to be attached to the A tag, and the hover state graphic is going to be attached to the LI tag. Now, if we look at the HTML for this, you're going to see there's an LI and there's an A. The A is deeper in. So anything that we place on the A tag is going to cover up whatever we place on the LI tag. So again, sort of coming back here to what we've been doing, you can see in this little illustration here, again, the off state image is attached to the A or the anchor tag. So it's going to be on top. The hover state image is attached to the list item, and that's underneath the A tag. So what's actually going on right up here is that the off state graphic is the one that's seen, but underneath it is the hover state graphic. So both the graphics are there, just one is covering the other up. When I hover over it, we've created a style that basically says hide whatever image is placed on the A tag. And since the A tag would be hidden at that point, it would show what's underneath it, which is the hover state graphic. So that's actually what we're going to go ahead and set up. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the HTML. And then we're going to go ahead and begin to set up the CSS for this.